Good morning everyone, happy Sunday and welcome to Sutherland House. So today is the much awaited uh, garden and greenhouse tour mid-year. So the last tour that I gave was February. So today I'm going to keep you give you a quick update. So let's go in. So here outside I had to move my Sansevieria because um, it's too big for the ladder inside. So still on top are my cacti collection. Used to have the big ones, but I removed the big ones because this one is almost full from propagation. Um, my favorite bukasana. It has a lot of pops, but I haven't propagated it yet. It has a lot of pops. So real soon I'll propagate this. And my brain cacti. Um, these babies are newly propagated yesterday but the bunny ears probably for a month but these are all from our own um, garden and just propagated them and look my stapelian is in full bloom again Down below is still my succulents, so I used to have just one of these, but now these are all, after three months, these are all the babies. Um, this one just finished bloom, but look, there's another one that's about to bloom. And I used to have just one of these, one the regular ones and one variegated one. But these are all from propagation for three months. So look at this wonderful variegated trade scansha Silla Montana. And I love it because it's hairy and flurry. Look at the hair. It does look like spider webs. Blue aloe. There. Um, the zebras are from my propagation too. <coughs> Excuse me. This one is also uh, from our garden, from our propagation. Yeah. Kawankowi um, marmorata. Or spotted palda. These red ives are also from, if you remember, I have propagation last December so these are the babies already six months old one two three from our propagation too from our garden also from our propagation or Bea and it's about to do it. one two and um, monodenium also from our propagation Harry Watson from our propagation. Look at this beautiful color of Harry Watson. Down below are huge, I don't know if you can see, but this is my hand. So it's bigger than my hand. Another big Fred Ives. My Alo Aristata. Aloe striata. It used to be so small, so small, so I had to repot them because it's so big. And look at this one is my favorite. Um, my kalangkui um, paddle plant or flapjack. Aptenia cordiflora. Hairy stem gripsalis. My agave. I forgot what was the name of this, but um, and this is one of her babies. And look on a closer look, my crested euphorbia is active. This euphorbia I also got from the streets. Now it has leaves. My domino is so big. Also, 
my coral cactus I had to repot because it's active and it's so big. Magnificus. My active brain cactus. Forbia. This one, I don't know the name. Does look like a pineapple. I had to repot because it's also going so big. This one. And my Orbea. And look at this overflowing string of hearts. It used to have just one strand out from propagation, but it's now full and overflowing. Actually, it produced two babies already, which we propagated. So, my basket I had to redesign and put some new babies in here. And on top are the succulents for sale. The mommy Kankoi Marmorata is there, and it has another baby, which I will probably take off in two to three months. And down below are the babies. Different varieties of babies. And just yesterday, we harvested probably a hundred cacti babies of different varieties straight from our greenhouse this one is the latest project that i did but i left it for one day outside and it's now wet so i had to bring it in so that it will dry up but it has lots of cacti and succulent babies and these are the oponches i treated the other day with scales video that I posted on how to take off the scales is here and another addition to the greenhouse is this fabric succulent flowers it used to be it used to be paper but it's the paper is very very dirty already so I got this from our high school reunion it was used as a backdrop so I had to ask my classmate to give it to me for the greenhouse and my Hawarthia limifolia is in bloom. I think it's already done blooming, but there. So that's the inside of the greenhouse. I'll probably give you another quick span. So there isn't much uh, succulents for sale at the moment because we had to deliver it for... We had to use the stock for a uh, recent giveaway, so uh, new stocks will be arriving this week. I don't know, but my hanging plant is in bloom. And I just want to show you, this is the octopus fern that was given to me a year ago. It used to be just one stem, but now it's forming so beautiful. I forgot the name of this plant, but I bought this and put it here. I thought it died on me because all of the initial leaves, which was longer, um, turned yellow, but it actually just formed new ones. So it's beautiful. I had to move my Spanish moss because it is forming it's drying up really fast yeah. and the baby string of hearts are there oh you can see but I will move closer and then this is the agave corner and the dish garden that we left out in the rain is alive and growing beautifully there so i have my opuntia at the back and my columnar cactus philodendron is growing taller i think i have to fix this one so that it's standing up but there and on this side we had to remove the sensivirus because of the mosquitoes so we're planning to put different big sized cacti in there because it gets lots of sunlight 
and then my white pots so we changed the babies in there and put some propagation things uh, babies I mean um, and because it outgrew the pots already and these one are my collection let me zoom out the wood palette project so I had to replace the pots to white because well I'm more happier with white pots or probably just my mood at the moment so the pencil tree it used to be so small in February but it's now probably more than higher than my knee so it grew so big and the grass is already spreading out so there So, an update on quadricolor agave. And look at this mother of thousands. Can you see the babies? <sighs> Moving on. Pots. And this one is succulent bed here. I had to redesign because the ducks got them. Yeah. Look at our toy. My favorite spot in the world. In the garden. Let me just show you this side and this side. 